ask Tom on home show. Anthony from Southwest Houston has some termite trouble. Yeah, he says this is a big and small problem, Tom. Based on this picture, it might be a little bigger than he thinks. Anthony writes, I recently discovered a termite infestation at my house. And my, I have three closets with sheetrock damage and some of my engineered wood flooring is damaged, which of course is the picture he sent in here uh, of that damage. He says, yeah. my question is how do I assess the damage behind the walls? Is there a way of looking behind the sheetrock without removing it? And how would you handle this? Okay, first off, the most important thing, and hopefully he already did this, was get a really good qualified pest control company. I like the local ones, so some of the local people I prefer because they, I just like dealing with local companies and not the big ones. But either way, as long as you get someone who gets rid of the termites, eradicates the termite colony, that's the most important step because that will stop any further damage. So number one, that's what you do before you do anything. Number two, looking at this floor, you can't save that floor. That floor is probably gonna have to be torn out. So when you take it out, or at least a large section of it, if you can still match it, you'll get a good idea what kind of damage would be underneath it or around the base of it and see how extensive it is. It might not be that extensive at all. It could be very cosmetic where they just took the gut in between the layer of the finished See, with those, with those engineered floors, they're in different layers. And they might got just into a certain layer, and they mm -hmm. just ate that layer away. So that's a new floor is what you're looking at. And that's not the end of the world. It gives you, it's a window of opportunity to dress up the room. Now, when you get into sheetrock, please remember sheetrock is cheap. Uh, it's not a big expensive thing. So what you do is you cut out a piece of sheetrock and look behind the wall. If there's not a lot of damage, then you could have someone, well, in, in our case, this is Southwest Houston, Rudy's Quality Painting come out. They'll cut out a pretty big piece so it's easy to work with, replace it, they'll tape, float it, texture it, paint it. Everything is fine if you don't have a lot of damage back there. If you do have damage back there, it's usually at the ground level where the studs come down and meet the sill plate. And if that's the case, you just have to add two by fours up in there. And what you do is you put a two by four next to the bad one, nail it in place, it's up as high as you can go. Usually the termite damage is the bottom 18 inches or so. And then you can go ahead and cut out the termite damage and put a block of wood in there. And then it's ready for your sheetrock. It's usually pretty simple because it's just two by fours. You don't have a lot of other lumber in there. Sometimes it's not that bad to where you really don't have a lot of structural damage, especially in the sheetrock. Because in sheetrock, they get in there, like I was talking about the wood floor, and there's a layer of paper between the float and the texture and the gypsum inside, which they don't want anything to do with and they eat the paper and the glue. And so that it looks horrible because you have to replace the sheetrock because all the paper is gone. And right. you have all these, when you peel it back, you have all these little weird spidery looking hairy things all over the place. It's very odd looking, but you can't save it. So you cut it out and you replace mm -hmm. and it's usually in that area where they were. So, and when you cut it out, you're gonna see if there's any obvious damage behind there. But I wouldn't worry too much about it. I think it's yeah. it's just something you have to start with. Getting rid of the termites. You know the floor's got to come out. And then cut some holes in the sheetrock and do a visual inspection. And then go ahead and have someone come back and cut whatever sheetrock needs to be cut out neatly and clean. Just like you would say after Hurricane Harvey where everybody sheetrocked the bottom two or four feet of their rooms. And just do it neat. Tape, float, texture, paint. And you're back in business. I don't think you're going to have an expensive structural issue. You say... Sheetrock is not that expensive, but everything is more expensive right now. We talked about that earlier. That is true. In another and video, I, that things are getting a little more pricey and harder to find. We're doing a remodel at our house, and they made a true. point. They made a point of getting all the sheetrock they needed up front, and it's stored at the house. And I'm not giving my address uh, <laughs> because <laughs> we're hoarding sheetrock. But you know, but what we're looking at here, Charlie, is maybe mm -hmm. four or five pieces. We're not looking at thousands of dollars of sheetrock. We're probably mm -hmm. looking at $100 or less. Right. So I want people to keep it in perspective. It could have been a lot worse. In, in your case, you're doing a remodel. So they have to have a whole bunch in, in all the stuff you're doing. But this sure. person's going to be okay. But it is more expensive than it was. And if you were building a house and it's adding the cost of sheetrock by 20%, 
and everything else in, in lumber is 200 mm percent -hmm. and we go on and on then we start to get the sticker shock and you go from 4,000 square feet to 1,000 square feet <laughs> you know of costs that you can afford we want everything to be affordable and easy for you that's why we've got that blue ask tom button homeshowradio.com you go fill out that form send us a picture send us a video send us anything you think will help tom do a better job answering your questions that's what he does he gets together with any and we put these together and po we post them to homeshowradio.com. There's a new one every day at, uh, on our website and our Facebook page and our YouTube channel where you find thousands of question answers to other questions. And uh, by the way, when you're watching those, you can help us out. If you get to the end of the video, you like it, give it a thumbs up. 